because some of you haven't uploaded a photo before or you haven't edited a photo before. I'm going to show you two of the favorite tools that myself and my team use to create killer content and you can use it too. Grow your audience, grow your business. Welcome back. So here is my page. So here it is right here. I'm going to put the code card right here. I'm going to click on photo video and this is where I'm going to create either a photo, upload the photo video, or I could choose to do a photo album or I could do, do a photo carousel, create a slideshow where the video photos go from one to another or even an instant experience. But for right now, we're just going to upload a photo and I'm going to tell you some of the things we do to keep our photos in people's attention. Okay. First off, I want to talk about color. You can notice right here that my profile picture, I made it with a yellow background. Why? The original color was actually blue. I made it with a yellow background so that it stands out in the feed where there's blue, a contrasting color is yellow. So think about contrasting colors when you're creating your photo because you want to have your text be clear, have your image stand out and be pop out to your audience. Another thing you notice is that the background is clear. There's not a lot of distractions, so you know what's happening in it. Like this one right here. You can see how the background is blurry. We did that intentionally. We did that so that the background is not the focus, but it doesn't look stale because it's not a plain white background or a plain color. Okay guys, so those are some fast tips for you with photos. Now let's go make some. So this is one of the programs that I adore using. It's paint.net. It is completely and entirely free, and we're going to upload and edit a photo really fast. Let's do this one right here. So we're going to edit it. I'm going to increase the levels because I like to make them bright. So I just increase the levels a little bit, click OK, and then I go into effects to make it glow. Give it a glow. And I think I'm going to pop the levels a little bit more. Okay. So there we go. This is a bright, colorful image, and I'm going to say something on this image right here. We're going to black out the screen. Okay, I'm going to make this nice and big now. Say I said live Q&A. Center that text. And then I'm going to edit it slightly here. Oh, I'm going to put a layer on it first. And I'm going to make that one white, so it has a bright white color. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to merge that down. So this is just how I edit images, guys. It's not super complicated, I promise you. If I can do it, anyone can do it. And copy paste, edit it so it fits the screen better. And then I'm going to write tonight. I'm going to make another layer and add tonight. not straight on best way it looks kind of like it's from the screen there it is guys that's pretty stinking cool okay this is it now I'm going to edit the image so that that way it's going to be ready to be posted I'm just gonna chop it up a little bit to make it more ready for Facebook here we go and I'm saying there's a live Q&A tonight that's it that's the image now I'm going to take this and I'm going to share it on to I'm just gonna save it and it's ready to go Okay, it's saved. And now I can post this on to my page. So we're gonna go back to our page here and I'm gonna post this video onto my page. Now I could choose to, I'm gonna go back in, we're gonna search for it real fast. I could choose to post it um, as a single video photo or I could choose to put it as part of a collage of photos or even a carousel. And I'm just gonna do straight photo now I could add a second image to this if I wanted to, and I could choose to schedule it later. So notice what I said here, I could schedule it later. One of the things I want you to see, I'm gonna share it now, you doing tonight. I'm gonna to share it right now. We're gonna share it into the closed group as well. And so you can see I shared both from my page and to my closed group. I don't know if you saw that I did that. I went to photo, thing, I uploaded a photo, and we'll just put this one in just for fun, just so you can see it again. And then I clicked both newsfeed, share now, 
and newsfeed to my Facebook page. I could have also chosen to add it to Instagram or I could have chosen to schedule it. I could have chosen to put this as something that went on last week or something. I could choose to have this public or only certain people. You'll want to do newsfeed targeting and restricted audience if you have a massive audience. That would be like if you have over a million Facebook fans. That's when I tend to use those. If you don't have over a million, then I would not consider using those and I would just use public. Okay guys, so that's where I put it both. Um, and let's go back to the post. Now notice this post. Some of the things that I've done to optimize it is that there's less than 25% text on this image. That's gonna help this image have the most um, potential reach on Facebook. Another thing that I did to help the image is it's got bright colors and it's a pattern break. So it's not colors that people typically see in their feed as background. So it's something that's a pattern break. Third thing about this post is that it's got one call to action. I'm driving people to my Facebook group, which I need to actually say. Okay, but I'm not going to drop the link in the photo because I did it live. I'm gonna put it here. Okay, there it is. So typically I would like you to leave the link in a comment if you can. However, let's say you've got these scheduled ahead of time and you don't want to have to remember to come back to the comments, um, then you can just put the link in the description. So let me show you what that would look like. We're going to schedule a photo for another day. So I'm going to close this one out and we're going to put a different photo up. I'm going to pull one from inside of my um, page um, and I'm going to pull this one up right here and we're going to schedule it for one month from now. Okay guys, I'm gonna put this, and this time I'm going to schedule it. But because I had that as a post, um, I'm scheduling, I don't wanna to have to remember to come back and put in the link, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the link in here. Okay, and I'm going to schedule this because I don't wanna to have to remember to come back. And so we're gonna move it over here, I'm gonna say for the 17th. There you go, it's scheduled. That's it. So now on the 17th, that's gonna go live. I'm going to show you how you know for sure that's going live. We're going to go into our publishing tools. And then you can go over here to the left to scheduled posts. And then when you're in scheduled posts, you can see the post that I have scheduled right here. Failure proof. There's the post we just did. I could edit it here if I wanted to. Okay, guys, that's pretty stinking cool. I just showed you how to make a photo with paint.net. How to edit it, how to create the photo. Guys, it's a little bit more of a complicated tool, but it's a free tool. Let me also show you how you can do this using a tool that all my staff adores, and it's called Canva. So here's Canva. It's canva.com. So you can see here's the URL, canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. And then I like, you get a lot of different templates. I like to use the Tumblr template or the social media template. So let's go back to home so you can see what I mean. So when you log in to on Canva, you can see previous designs that we've made. So you can see the cards that we've made that some of you are getting. Um, and these are basically posts. You can literally just pull up a card and, and go post. Let's say though, you don't know, you, you're not, you don't have a template yet, you don't have something of your own to work from, you can use ones that Canva has already made. So this is the size for a Facebook cover. It is not the right size, that is way too small for a Facebook cover, but you can see how they have some suggested post sizes. So I'm going to pick um, Tumblr because I want this to be able to be used on Facebook, Instagram, and in stories as well as on Pinterest. So here's the graphic that I'm going to be using. I'm going to pull up and we're going to do, let's do this one right here. I'm going to change the quote though. We're going to change the quote to be, okay, I love this quote right here. The more you express, the more likely you will have to have more to express better work. So we're gonna grab this quote from Ziegler. All right, um, now I'm gonna go into Canva and we're gonna put this in there. Change that font size to say 24. And then I'm going to push it into the middle and I'm gonna change this from John Sheldon Pierce to Zig. Ziggler, and I'm gonna move that up, and then we're gonna change that and delete that. 
You can see, guys, it's not that difficult to just um, edit these really, really quickly. And we're going to change the color of this instead of bright, bright yellow to kind of a muted yellow. I think that's good. And then I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because I think it's a little tiny on the saw side. Okay, that's it. I'm going to take this off and we're going to go. I'm literally, I can download this right now. I'm downloading it and I've got it ready to go. I can now use this on stories. I can upload the stories. I can upload this onto my page. I can upload this into Facebook. I can upload this into a group. So here it is, guys. I'm going to open it up. You can see the post inside my computer. So we can upload it. Let's see. We just did a photo on my page. Let's see if we can schedule a post together on my group. We're going to upload that into one of my groups together. I'm going to put here's one of my groups. We're going to upload this photo and I'm going to schedule it for later. So I want you to see how you can put your content and create it months and weeks ahead of time and you can use it over and over and over again. So this one is, I'm going to open it really fast here. There it is. You can see I've got this quote here. We're going to schedule it right now in our group. Okay, we're going to change the time. We're going to schedule it and we're going to schedule it for, let's say the first week in July. We'll schedule it for Tuesday. Okay, that's it. And you can see it's ready to go. You can see Tuesday, July 2nd, there it is. It's waiting for me to post. Okay guys, hopefully this was helpful for you. You got to see me create an image in paint.net as well as in Canva and you saw how fast it was to edit images, create memes. It doesn't take a lot of time. You can totally do this too. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.